Hey, Face here, and welcome to my Mushroom 11 First Impressions video. Have you ever wanted to have your own personal amorphous organism? If so, or if you just wanted a fun casual puzzle platformer, then Mushroom 11 is the game for you. It has tons of fun moving parts in the world, like escalators, conveyor belts, crumbling houses, and all different kinds of floating, glowing, mutated creatures that your little guy, henceforth I'm calling mine Bob the Blob, can consume to gain DNA points, which are kind of like lives. Untamed, the developers of this fun little game, are located in Brooklyn, New York. Mushroom 11 has been in development since 2012, and they're shooting for a release date of June or July on Steam. The team consists of two married couples that seem to be pretty much the whole team. Four people putting out this much quality content in a game is quite astounding. The idea of the game is that you erase or destroy certain parts of Bob the Blob and he'll grow those cells back in other areas, hence granting him the ability to move around in some kind of strange, creeping kind of way. And th once those cells are in place, they're static, i.e. he won't be able to bounce around. He's a very stubborn blob that won't budge his cells once his new parts have grown. This creates some interesting opportunities that you can use to exploit the environment around you. As you can see here, Bob is able to wedge himself into this long tunnel to get to the top and eat this strange blue lightning bug creature. Mushroom 11 is not just about Bob getting to eat his fill and wander around doing whatever he wants, but about avoiding the dangers of an environment strewn with pools of lava and plants that spit fireballs to protect against your Bob Blob consuming their delicious fruit. I'm sure that there are other enemies that you will face that aren't in the early release version of the game, but we'll just have to wait until June for that. There will be seven chapters or worlds that you maneuver your Bob Blob around, and there will be a boss you have to defeat at the end of each one before you can move on to the next. If the design of the first boss is any indication, it's definitely going to take some doing to finish them all. All in all, I think this is going to be a worthy purchase for anyone who's after a different gaming experience, or really to anyone who's a fan of puzzle platformers. You can find the link for their website and the Steam store page down in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.